This is Press Best, and you're with Ernie from Best There Is Entertainment, where we talk rumors, leaks, spoilers, and news. Today, we'll be talking about Spider-Man 4. I know you're thinking, Spider-Man 4, really? Yeah, we're already there. It's already in development, and I hear it's already starting. Now, that may be true. That may not be true, but there is something that's been going around. Now, we don't know who's going to return in the trilogy that lived through the last film. From what I'm hearing, Ned Leeds will not be returning. That was a big thing that has been announced about a few weeks back, but again, it was on the rumor mill. And always remember that a lot of these rumors and leaks are just that. Don't take it all to heart and think it's for sure going to happen. But to be fair, a lot of these are leaked from inside of Marvel from another worker or someone on the crew, and this is how we get these tidbits. So Marvel and Sony have already put their differences aside, and they want to go forward with doing a lot more with Spider-Man. As of right now, Tobey Maguire has nothing going on with Spider-Man. There are some whispers about Andrew Garfield getting Spider-Man 3 and getting his final due and getting his trilogy finished. Now, does that mean he'll get a number four afterwards? I'm not sure. I know there is word that they want the three actors to be back together in another film, just because how much the audience enjoyed it and how big of an impact it was. But I don't see that happening because of what happened in the circumstances. I don't know a way to bring the three together. But that's what brings us to our big rumor. Now, what they're calling this so far in the leak is Spider-Man 4 will be a soft retcon. This means Spider-Man basically gets to start all over and be what Spider-Man originally is, where he's just a street superhero. Now, he always bumps into some crazy bad guys but i think they want to see him a little more grounded spider-man 3 definitely left him grounded because at the end of the film he seemed very lost and on his own well if this rumor is true he won't be alone for long this is a character tom holland has already talked about in the past and has said that he wants him to be in one of his movies yes yes so the rumor is miles morales will be coming in spider-man 4 at first glance with the spider-verse doing so well i don't expect miles to come anywhere near any of the cinematic films just yet but now that I think about it, there couldn't be any better time for Miles Morales to make his debut in a Spider-Man film. Right now, Peter Parker is a point of his life where he's alone, he's lost, and he needs guidance. With Miles coming into the picture, he could be looking for the same things as well. And before, we saw Peter as a team, but now he has to become... After No Way Home, the whole statement of the movie was, with great power comes great responsibility. And I think having another character that is in his circumstances will show him what he needs to do and how he needs to lead. With Spider-Man being a ground level character, we're going to see different villains. With that being said, fans have been clamoring to see Kingpin come on the scene because if you remember the anime series, for most of the episodes, Kingpin was a big protagonist and actually was a big deal through the whole series. We already got introduced to Matt Murdock, who plays Daredevil, in Tom Holland's universe, so it seems like a pretty easy transition to bring the Kingpin in, and it makes a lot of sense. With Peter and Miles trying to find their way through life at this time, at both crucial times in their life, it'd be a good opportunity from what Peter learned in the last film to project it onto Miles, and maybe they could pick it up off from there. The leakers said that Marvel and Sony see this as a soft retcon, so we still get the same Peter, but he gets a fresh start and they get to tell their own stories in a different way now before everyone gets excited and thinks venom is going to be appearing because we saw the little tiny drop of goo let me be the first to tell you it's not going to happen we will most likely see venom get built up through the first two movies just like how the avenger movies built up thanos to have a big cinematic battle we'll probably get venom in the last installment of the trilogy someone let it slip and has already said that this next trilogy is going to be very similar to toby mcguire's journey now, if you put that into perspective, there's a few things that we could pull from that idea. Number one, we'll see Peter in college. Number two, we're going to probably be dealing with his dating life and trying to balance it. And number three, it's going to be dealing, of course, with the villains, but there will be a buildup at the very end, the third film, with Venom. But that seems like the picture they're trying to paint right now with all these leaks and rumors and how they're all coming together. It looks like that will be the big showdown in Spider-Man 3. So I just wouldn't expect Venom to show up anytime during 1 and 2. We're going to get a buildup and we're going to see a lot more of Peter dealing with life. Also in the leak, one last thing to mention is just like the first trilogy, how it all circled around the word home, the next trilogy also will be circling around a word. So you guys go out there and try to guess what word that's going to be. And I'll keep digging, hoping to find a little bit more about the Spider-Man 4 that we're talking about here. And that's it for now. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in. And also thank you everybody who's been checking us out on all our social media platforms. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, especially YouTube, where we do our own podcast and we have a lot of fun on there. We do challenges, all kinds of fun stuff. We really appreciate everybody. Things have been looking good for us. Subscribers are going up. Views are going up. Hopefully, we could just keep it going, but it's all owed to you guys. And thank you guys for checking us out. We really do appreciate it. So, until next time, see ya. Mm-hmm.